Hello, hello, and welcome. This is going to be your reading for fire signs, Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries for September 1st through the 15th, 2023. Welcome back, subscribers. Welcome if you are new. Fire signs, sun, moon, rising, any placement of Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. Um, also, for those of you who don't know, I am a master energy therapist. I specialize in distance energy healing and therapy, so it does not matter where you live. I have been working with clients globally since early 2017. The link below to my website has all the information available for you. Um, there's also a 15% discount off your very first session or as a first time client. All right, fire signs. Let's get you an overall energy. Whoop. Oh dear. Okay, actually, yep, there's two that came out. So we're going to use both of those for you. What do we got here? Wow. Okay, you've got the electric eel spirit and the armadillo spirit. Bring your ideas to life and set healthy boundaries. Wow, I love, love, love fire signs that these came out together because um, I'm definitely seeing a correlation here that you need one to have the other. So as you bring your ideas to life, whatever that is that you're planning, implementing, building, creating, um, you need to have healthy boundaries with those so that you don't get overwhelmed, you don't get drained, you don't lose balance in your life. So whatever these ideas are that you're bringing through, it could even be new friendships or a new job or a new relationship it can be a creative project a hobby anything that that you're bringing in that um, adds joy to your life and make sure you know what your boundaries are with that okay with those new friendships with that new relationship with that new job or hobby what are your boundaries because that is going to enable you to maintain whatever it is that you are bringing to life which is the whole point, right? We don't want to, you know, manifest and create something or have a new friendship or relationship that ends up not working out because we didn't have healthy boundaries and we got, you know, overworked or underpaid or exhausted or we lost balance. So these two, Again, I love that they fell out together because you need to have one in order to have the other. You can start with knowing what your boundaries are and then adding in, asking from the universe to show you the opportunities that are in alignment with your boundaries, or you can start with your ideas and then bring in the boundaries. So that's gonna be up to you how you bring that through. All right, let's see what else we've got here. Second row is your specific person. So those of you dealing with a specific person, what do we need to know about their energy? Third row is any clarifying messages. All right. First up, fire signs. We've got Six of Pentacles, the Strength card, and the Ace of Pentacles. Ooh, this is really beautiful. That Strength card in the middle is immediately speaking to the healthy boundaries um, and your strength within that, okay? And then the Six of Pentacles is all about balance healthy boundaries, not over giving, you know, the six of pentacles can represent things that are out of balance and that someone is more of a giver and someone is more of a taker type energy. And so this is bringing awareness that that is not going to happen for you because you've got that inner strength to be aware of it. Where are the scales out of balance? And then you can help bring them into balance. And as you can see, that is going to open up here fire signs, a really beautiful opportunity that is coming in for you. This can be a new job. This can be a new relationship. This can be a new work or living situation. Uh, leave me comments below of what new thing or new opportunity is coming into your life. And with the strength card here, I'm seeing this as your energy. And the message around that is you didn't go out and conquer and chase and force 
this opportunity. You s leaned into your boundaries, into you know what you know is best for you. You let it come to you. Uh, which is so beautiful. All you have to do is know what you want and where your boundaries are and the universe will take care of the rest. That is where this beautiful opportunity is coming in here. Look, it's almost like being handed out of the clouds, like from, from the universe and the heavens above. So what is this opportunity coming in for you? I love the Ace of Pentacles because with the Pentacle energy, it brings an energy of stability of longevity and something that really has the possibility of growing into something long term and very, very stable for you. So something that is out of balance has a very hard time being long term and stable. So this is why this is so important that the scales are in balance, you know where your boundaries are and then boom, here's the here's the opportunity coming in for you really love that we've got strong leo energy with that strength card and then capricorn taurus and virgo energy also coming through all right your specific person those of you dealing with a specific person this is what their feelings are this is what we need to know about their energy empress fool and four of wands wow 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 your specific person is sinking into their best nurturing loving energy so that they can take a leap of faith um, towards you towards this relationship and towards this connection with the four of wands i'm seeing they are going to want commitment they're going to want to create something with you they are going to uh, want to make things happen and the fool card is really I'm seeing an image of like literally dropping baggage like throwing away heaviness that has been in the way of this connection or that has been weighing down um, the opportunity here the the empress card can very much be about the birth of a new idea the birth of a new um, chapter something very very new and with that moving into the fool card it's like this chapter fire signs that you're moving into with your specific person is going to feel much lighter. It's going to feel much more free. It's going to feel much more in aligned, which is so beautiful. And then of course you're getting this grounded energy here with the four of wands, which does bring um, commitment. It does bring longevity. It does bring an openness to building something with your specific person. So I'm loving these energies. The two major arcana cards here as well speak to growth and transformation. So know that your specific person is going through some lessons and some growth in order to get to this energy uh, to bring towards you. To bring towards you. I'm hearing stability wants to come towards you in that connection. Oh, okay, now I know why. So here's your, your clarifying messages. So we've got the tower card. The tower has come out in almost every reading today. So I feel like there's a lot of aha moments, realizations, and just clarity coming in. Um, not just for you, fire signs, but for, for all of us. So we've got the tower, king of wands, knight of pentacles. So what is so beautiful about what I'm immediately seeing here is this King of Wands is facing the tower, but the Knight of Pentacles is moving out of whatever is crumbling behind it into a much more stable forward movement energy. So this King of Wands energy is a little bit stuck in the past. It's a little bit stuck on, you know, what didn't happen or what did happen or what didn't work out. And the focus is in the past. So this is a message for you, fire signs. Whatever in the past has your attention and has your focus is ready to be released, is ready to be let go of, is ready to be healed and transmuted. If you are not doing the work and facing whatever that is for you, the universe will step in and bring a tower moment, okay? That's the gift of the, the tower card. It brings healing, clarity, an epiphany, an aha moment. It helps to shake up whatever is not working so that it can be transmuted and re removed from our life, okay? It may not feel good as we're going through it. I'm not saying that there may not be pain or sadness or a bit of a, a hiccup in your, in your life, but it brings you, look at this, to a more stable, clear, 
um, foundational energy that can really move forward with what it is that you're wanting fire signs. So um, this could be helping to clear out what's been in the way of a solid, stable relationship for you or a solid, stable job for you or a solid, stable living situation. It is a general reading, so this can um, speak to anything um, depending on your situation. But the, the overall message here, stability wants to come in for you. Commitment wants to come in for you. Uh, a foundation that is you know, capable of growing long-term wants to come in for you, fire sign. So this is a very positive thing. And this is why you're bringing your ideas to life and you're having healthy boundaries with those because you are growing and you are shifting. And that's really, really beautiful. So um, I am seeing, again, strong Leo energy. We've also got other Aries or other Sagittarius energy, a lot of Earth energy showing up, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. Um, those are the main, main ones, okay, coming through for you. So let's see. Let's see what else we've got. Oops. All righty, here it is, power. This is reminding you, fire signs, how much power you actually have to create what it is that you want. You are in the driver's seat. And even though you're in the driver's seat, you're also still open to receiving um, with that inner strength card and all the stability that's showing up around you. So pull your energy within, bring your power back home and watch things start to come together. Your power being pulled within, your energy pull, being pulled within as well naturally sets healthy boundaries around you energetically, which is important. Okay, let me get you a spirit animal message. Oh, you don't even get us. This is how powerful you are, fire signs. You don't even get an animal. You get to envision and choose the animal that you want to embody. So you got the personal choice card. Close your eyes. What animal do you imagine? What strengths are they known for? What wisdom do they share? Embrace those qualities. I love it when this card shows up. Personal choice, fire signs. Leave me a comment below. What animal are you envisioning and imagining and what are the strengths that you are embodying uh, with that? Okay, so that is gonna be your guider and protector through September 15th. Whew, I think that is all that is coming through for you. I hope this resonates. You can always watch your moon sign, your rising, or really any other placement of Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries um, in your chart. Thank you for the likes, subscribes, and comments. They really do make a difference for the channel. If you missed the intro, I am a master energy therapist and I specialize in distance energy healing and therapy. It does not matter where you live. I've been working with clients globally since early 2017. So the link below to my website has all the information available for you. You can read about the benefits, check out the testimonials, and absolutely take advantage. There is a 15% discount uh, for you as a first time client or your very first energy session with me. Uh, so if you feel called to do so, you can take advantage of that. And if you are feeling blocked or stuck or just not your best self, an, an energy clearing and balancing can be so supportive in helping you to just release whatever is in the way that you no longer need, bringing you into balance and just helping you to feel your best overall. So again, the link is below. All the information is there for you. That's it, fire signs. I'm wishing you a beautiful start to September and I will look forward to seeing you back here for uh, the second half of September readings. Take care.